Hi friends, uh, good morning everyone. I hope all of you are doing good. Thanks for your continued support for our uh, YouTube channel and uh, Udemy courses. And my special thanks and because there are very few people only uh, provide those kind of things. So I want to convey, I don't know your names and all. Even I see few of the people on Udemy, at least the names. Okay, but uh, in YouTube, I cannot see that. Uh, who can uh, who is sharing our videos and all i can see only comments who is liking or who is um, sharing i cannot identify but uh, my heartful thanks to all of you for uh, providing your continuous support on udemy and youtube your support is making us to reach more countries and uh, helping maximum people so in this video i'm going to tell you about um, serial numbers batch numbers what is the high level difference and uh, what kind of businesses use these kind of uh, serial numbers and batch numbers? Let's forget about SAP and uh, SAP transaction codes, tables, configuration and all. So if you really want to go through, we have a course on uh, Udemy, batch management and uh, even our Google Drive. We have uh, about the batch management and even serial numbers I mentioned somewhere. And even I'm planning to make a video on uh, serial number management uh, with more concepts of receiving and all. So let's talk about the business process understanding. Uh, many of you would have the confusion that uh, what is serial numbers and what is uh, batch number and uh, in what circumstances or what kind of businesses uh, can use serial numbers and uh, batch numbers. Let's see it. So we have, uh, let's take it uh, three categories. Serial numbers, batch numbers, normal stock, normal stock. Okay, why I'm mentioning the normal stock? So we have three categories. One is serial numbers, second one is batch numbers, and normal stock, just a quantity basis. So what is the serial numbers? So what kind of businesses can use serial numbers? Mostly I see it now. Uh, electronics. Home appliances. I think uh, these two are main, like I can say. Electronics means I'm giving maybe if you want to segregate mobiles from electronics. Are you mobiles also part of electronics only? So electronics like mobiles or laptop or uh, get a certain kind of electronic devices, home appliances means refrigerators, washing machines, and um, even if you have a vacuum cleaner, so any kind of uh, all these products. What happened when there is a one batch of production? Okay. So for example, one batch of production, they made 100 pieces. 100 pieces per lot of, per production lot, let's say. One production lot means one time, whether it is, there is assemblies happening or making the product, 100 pieces are coming out per lot. Then 100 pieces, they will give the 100 serial numbers. So the serial numbers they can give. The naming uh, serial numbers uh, can be uh, defined uh, based on the the R and D. Okay, the company's R and D can decide the serial numbers, or they can use the continuous number ranges. So based on business requirement, uh, they will plan that uh, number ranges. Okay. So here, uh, eighteen characters are the maximum uh, for any uh, kind of serial numbers, uh, as per SAP I'm talking about. And uh, serial numbers, when they generate it, it can be like SCR001, SCR002, SCR003. So like that, they can give a continuous number range. Or few companies may follow certain kind of the, the production date and the product, then like that, they can generate it. So another one is like uh, S, uh, today's date, date of production. So they can give like, Today's date, 2608-2023, running number, 001. So they want to identify something. Um, okay. So they want to use the 
data. Okay. Flash fill. What happened to the formula? Okay, two and three. Okay, it's filling like this. Okay, so they can follow that uh, kind of a naming. I'm giving you that uh, example one and example two. Okay, example one, example, example two. Okay, so like that, they can uh, provide the serial numbers. Uh, so each product is going to get an individual serial number. If you're buying a mobile number, if you're buying a laptop, you will have a serial number. So if there is any issue comes, they can find out based on the serial number, when was it manufactured and who was in the team and who is at the assembly team. And if there is some laptop, there was one small chip was missing. Okay, the uh, once after buying that uh, customer has complained certain issue. So based on the issue, they found that uh, certain chip was not available in the assembly like uh, they have not added during assembly so they can find out that uh, who is the shift in charge and who is the member who assembled this one when it was manufactured why the chip was missing those kind of analysis they can do it so serial numbers electronics home appliances where they want to identify each product each product with a specific number then they go for a serial numbers what are these batch numbers Batch numbers, what happens? Batch numbers mainly in the food industries. Pharma. Industries. Paint industries. Even you can see any other chemical industries. Chemical industries. There will maybe at high level I can say these things. Chemical industries. If you see the food industries, if you take any... Uh, biscuit packet or chocolate or anything you will see one batch number b dot and like that you can see pharmaceuticals 100 percent is most they use the batch management while buying raw material they want to have a batch and while making the final product they make a batch i worked in paint industry and i supported for pharma industry so even i thought of one small chemical project also so all these are using these batch numbers how does it happen for example 100 pieces of uh, biscuit packet. 100 pieces of, okay. 100 packs, okay, cancel. 100 packs of biscuits, packets, okay. 100 units of biscuit packet, that could be better. Okay, 100 biscuit packets have come in one slot, okay. The same way, uh, like uh, they receive that uh, 100 uh, kg of drug. 100 kg of drug. So 100 kg of drug may be uh, converted into multiple packets. Okay. So all these things, they will give batch number 1, batch number 2, batch number so 100 kg of drug is uh, made is converted to maybe 1000 strips what we call like strips are uh, thousands of sachets that each uh, the tablet one will be there at right? 100 uh, pieces I can say okay so here what happens when they make this 100 pieces or so thousand pieces, all thousands will carry batch number one. And next hundred slot will be batch number two, batch number three. Here, what I can say, when you see this uh, food industries and all, same biscuit packet with batch number one biscuit packet, thousand pieces, like hundred units, right? Hundred units of uh, biscuit packets means all hundred will have a batch number one. Okay. So all hundred will have batch number one. So all hundred here thousand uh, like if you said dear yeah, nowadays whatever the tablets you are using okay uh, it can be anything like dollar six fifty whatever you are using so thousand will have the same batch number okay batch number one so tomorrow or evening shift they are making another one then it will get a batch number two and tomorrow after two days they are releasing one more uh, hundred kg of drug was made then it is a batch number three. 
So here what I can say in case of serial numbers, each product, each mobile will have its unique number. And here each slot, 100 units are made in that production line, all will get a batch number one. So with batch number one will be available for the 100 biscuit packets. Here 1000 will have this one. Any chemical industries, like if you take a food industry, oil, not on chemical, and even this cosmetics and all, also part of chemical only. So if you take any cosmetics, okay, face creams, whatever you're using, check that uh, details, you will see the batch number. So coming to the normal stock uh, where no batch and uh, no cereal, okay. So here, normal stock, what we are using, for example, you, you can take it like uh, any iron tools, okay, metal tools, metal tools, peppers, many motors, cables, okay, any, any of all these kind of product, they don't use serial number or they don't use uh, uh, patch management. So now you can understand that one. Okay, so when I get an interview, and uh, if you get the interview from electronics or home appliances, like if you get any interviews from Panasonic, Sony, or Whirlpool, these kind of things, you will get a questions from serial number. <laughs> so if you get an uh, entry call from uh, Ranback C or Food Industries, Haldirans or Britannia, any kind of these kind of companies, you can understand that one. They will use batch management. So you need to brush up your batch management skills, batch management, uh, real uh, knowledge wise, whatever you wanted to uh, revise before going for the interview. So the normal uh, industry is like any kind of uh, assembly or any kind of companies, mostly they use the normal stuff. So it is a business scenario wise. I hope in this video, you understand that one, what are the companies uh, can use serial numbers and what are the companies can use batch numbers, why all companies don't use batch management and why uh, all companies uh, don't use serial number management. And uh, so these kind of uh, things, I hope you got an idea. And uh, for you can check our uh, Udemy courses, uh, Google Drive for the batch management and serial number related uh, videos. Thanks to all of you for your time and I hope uh, this video has given you to understand the business process uh, and business requirement uh, related to batch management and serial number management. Let's meet with another video. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.